Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically set up using policies a SharePoint session timeout. Now, there's multiple reasons why you might want to set up a session timeout. Perhaps you're having your users access your SharePoint intranet via a public computer, like via a library, for example, or via a computer at home. Uh, maybe people are using shared devices with inside of your work environment. Whatever the reason is, for security reasons, you want to make sure that people are actually properly signing out of SharePoint so then other people that maybe are using the same devices aren't accessing that information. Now, the, the way that we get to setting this feature up is through the SharePoint Admin Center. Again, we can get to this by clicking on the admin button, going to office.com, clicking the admin button, which will take you to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. From there, you're going to want to click on the more um, or the show all feature on the left-hand side and then select on SharePoint. This is then going to take you to the SharePoint Admin Center, which is where all of the main kind of um, controls, policy, settings, things like that are set up with inside of your SharePoint environment. What you're then going to do is need to click on the uh, policies tab on the left hand side and select on access control. Now this gives you a range of different access controls, not just a session sign outs we're talking about. You can also do things like the, use unmanaged devices. So this is allowing you to restrict access from devices that aren't compliant or joined to your domain. We're going to also be talking, as I say, about the session sign out. But you can also do things like having network locations to allow access only from specific IP addresses. So say, for example, you only wanted people to access your SharePoint site from your office and they can't access it from anywhere else. You can allow access only from specific IP addresses. You can have apps that don't use modern authentication. So this is basically making sure that um, you can't have any third party or bespoke apps which aren't using the modern authentication to make sure things are staying as secure as possible and you also have the OneDrive access restrictions here which allows you to restrict access to OneDrive content by security groups meaning you can lock it down so only certain people have access to OneDrive but what we're interested in here is this idle session sign out which is described as automatically sign out users from inactive browser sessions so when you select that, you'll notice a little pop-up appears on the right-hand side, which is the idle session sign-out settings. This is described as warn and then sign-out users or on unmanaged devices after a period of inactivity. This setting applies when users don't select to stay signed in. You can find out more about this, so by clicking on this link here, it will open up a tab and there's more information on the sign out um, inactive users which you might want to have a little look through read through um, basically gives a bit more information about the sign out experience what it's going to look like to users so it's going to say you're about to be signed out um, and then they can either choose to continue or if they don't do that what will happen is they'll automatically see this your signed out option and it will give them the ability to sign back in again if say for example um, they just nipped to the loo or to get a, a drink or something like that and they can sign back in again um, quite easily. Um, but let's jump back into the actual configuration of this. So you can see by default it is turned off. So sign out act inactive users automatically is turned off. You need to click on that little slider to turn it into the on setting and then two additional boxes will appear. You have sign out users after, and this is then specifying your time. So you could say uh, after 15 minutes, after 30 minutes, after one hour, four hours, eight hours, 24 hours. So it depends totally on your your kind of uh, your requirements, really. Most people, the reason why it defaults to one hour is most people would pick an hour. If you are a little bit more kind of security conscious, you might go for, say, 15 minutes um, as an option. So actually, it's time after 15 minutes. And you can also give users... Um, uh, basically some notice before signing them out so again before that happens do you want to give them a minute notice two minutes five minutes again depending on how strict you want this to be but typically most people go with one hour um, and then maybe sort of like uh, sort of five minutes or so or ten minutes before you might want to give them a little nudge just to say we're going to sign you out unless you click on the kind of okay button and start using the sharepoint site again so then all I then need to do to enable this and for this to start working is to basically click on that save button. Um, and that's then applied. That's then enabled. If you ever wanted to turn it off, all you need to do is click on that 
um, toggle button, but just make sure that you click on that save button again to make sure that actually the settings are configured. I should also say as well um, that this will um, take a little bit of time to kick in. It's not just going to kick in automatically. I would say give it a good, say, 24 hours and it should be enabled, um, but just give it chance. Um, a lot of people with these types of settings will enable them and expect them to work straight away. That's not always going to be the case. Give it some time to kick in. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel for more SharePoint Admin Center and administration top tips. If you've got any questions at all relating to SharePoint, use the comments feed below and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions.